Well, as in any election, the state of the economy is a key issue for voters. The US Central Bank was optimistic enough about it to raise interest rates in December. But today, its chair, Janet Yellen, said rising global instability might put the brakes on another hike soon. Daniel Rinches reports. Janet Yellen came to Capitol Hill to deliver a report to the US Congress with a more concerned tone than we've heard from her before about the impacts of current global financial conditions. In turn, low commodity prices could trigger financial stresses in commodity exporting economies, particularly in vulnerable emerging market economies and for commodity producing firms in many countries. Should any of these downside risks materialize, foreign activity and demand for U.S. exports could weaken and financial market conditions could tighten further. In December, Fed officials envisaged they would proceed with four quarter point rises in 2016. But since then, global conditions have deteriorated. Yellen is also making clear that despite current turbulence, her longer term projections remain positive at home and abroad. These developments, if they prove persistent, could weigh on the outlook for economic activity in the labor market. Although declines in longer term interest rates and oil prices provide some offset, still, Ongoing employment gains and faster wage growth should support the growth of real incomes and therefore consumer spending. And global economic growth should pick up over time, supported by highly accommodative monetary policies abroad. Yellen predicts that commodity prices will begin to pick up and gradually help bring inflation back to more normal levels. But in the immediate future, Yellen's comments add to the market consensus that there's now little chance of a rate hike in March. The Federal Open Market Committee will be reluctant to tighten the supply of money if the current global slowdown persists, because that could exacerbate negative impacts on the U.S. economy. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.